And welcome to You Decide Southern California 2014. I'm Tony McEwing. This is the show where you get to meet the politicians pushing for your support. Now, we ask the candidates the questions about the issues that we think matter to you, and then you can decide if the person deserves your vote. And to help question those on the hot seat with me is Brian Kaye, a opinion editor with the Orange County Register, and it's good to see you, Brian, as always. But on the hot seat first is Neil Kashkari. He is the Republican candidate for governor of California, running against incumbent Democratic governor, of course, Jerry Brown. And Brian, you can kick things off. Thanks, Tony. So, Neil, the question I think on everyone's mind is what possessed you to run for governor of California? Well, look, it's hard, but somebody has to fight to rebuild the middle class of California. Not that long ago, we had some of the best schools and one of the best job markets in America. Now we're near the bottom for both. I'm running for governor to bring jobs back to California and rebuild the middle class. But now, you're running against a very popular Democratic governor. And if you were to win, if by some, some chance you were to win, you'd be working with a legislature, or some would say against a legislature that is overwhelmingly democratic. How could you get anything done with people who don't share your vision for the state? Well, here's the thing. I think that Democrats love their kids, too. I think the independents do. I think the Democrats want jobs here in California. When we see Tesla, Toyota, Schwab, Nestle all leaving, there's a real problem. We need to bring jobs back to California, and we can bring people together to get it done. Now, you know, a lot of people would say that by many measures, Governor Brown has done a pretty good job as governor. The economy is a little bit better. Uh, you know, the state budget's balanced. Uh, you know, a lot of people on the right and left are saying he's doing a pretty good job. How do you combat those kind of thoughts and arguments that are in the minds of many voters? Well, I just asked the voters themselves. Jerry Brown calls it the California comeback. So I asked the voters, is your family back? Are your kids in good schools? Do you have the job that you want? I think we can do a lot better by fixing the schools and bringing jobs back to California, and that's going to help everybody. Well, let's face it. I mean, unemployment is down. Uh, it, I mean, it's down to somewhere around 7.4 percent. That's down from like 11 percent, over 11 percent during the height of the recession. Uh, you know, we are working with a surplus now as opposed to deficits, which Governor Brown certainly has pointed out. But a lot of people also say that our recovery here in California has been uneven at best. So specifically, specifically, what would you do to help those who have not recovered from the recession. Yeah. We have 24% poverty, highest poverty rate in America. I want to bring manufacturing back to California. How do you do that? I've got a specific plan of incentives so that if somebody wants to open a new manufacturing plant in California, no state taxes for 10 years. Tesla just said they're going to Nevada. 6,500 good jobs to Nevada instead of to California. Those are the kind of jobs we need in California. Jerry Brown's not fighting for working families. I'm going to fight for working families. Now, you, you, know, you said you mentioned poverty, and obviously California is at the, the bottom of the list, or actually the top of the list in terms of uh, uh, most poverty um, of any other state in the nation. You went to Fresno and did something which I thought was, from a campaign perspective, a very interesting campaign ploy, but you learned a little bit there, right? You, you posed as if you were homeless without a job for a few days or... For a week. For a and week. I literally lived homeless for six nights, seven days, trying to find work. Fresno has the highest unemployment rate of any big city in California. There are just no jobs there. And what I learned is when somebody is looking for work but can't find it, it's a vicious cycle and it can be very hard to get back on your feet. We need to bring more good jobs to California. Fresno also has a Republican mayor who is running for state controller who was very surprised to find out you were in her city. Yep. Look, I think Ashley Swearingen is going to do a terrific job as controller, and I'm strongly supporting her. We have very different perspectives on the high-speed train. I think spending $70 billion on the high-speed train is a colossal waste of money. We need to invest in water. We need to invest in infrastructure. The train's not it. So, you know, some people would say there are some similarities between you and Jerry Brown, and others would say there's not. What do you think the two or three most important differentiating factors between your policy positions are? Biggest things are focusing on jobs. You know, Jerry Brown... You, look really, at what, you don't think that Jerry Brown's focused on jobs? Look at what they've done in the last month. They've banned plastic bags. They have regulated football practice. They have passed a law that allows me to bring my dogs to restaurants. I'm grateful for that, Governor Brown. What they're not doing is rebuilding the middle class, fighting to bring good jobs to California, fighting to fix the schools. Jerry Brown's out of touch with the struggles of working families. But again, how would you get that accomplished with an overwhelmingly Democratic Here's legislature? Thing, by focusing... I spent three years in Washington, D.C., tackling the worst economic crisis that our nation's faced since the Great Depression. 
we got Republicans and Democrats to work together by focusing on the big issues facing the country and bringing people together. Jerry Brown is out of touch. He's not. He's focusing on plastic bags. I'm going to focus on rebuilding the middle class. Can we talk about that high-speed rail project Please. again? Uh, because uh, it's something you're adamantly uh, opposed to. So I call it my the crazy question, train. Yeah, you call it the crazy train. So my question to you is, well, what do you do? What do you do about California's future transportation needs if you don't build the crazy train? Well, transportation is critical. You know, when I, I live in Orange County, to come up to L.A., it usually takes me about two hours. Congestion is a big problem. I've never heard anyone complain to me, boy, it's so hard to get from L.A. to San Francisco. Yes, we need more mass transit. We need more infrastructure investment. But it's not connecting L.A. and San Francisco. It's investing around L.A. It's investing around Southern California, around the Bay Area. There's smart investment and there's dumb investment. The crazy train is dumb investment. So for Southern California, what does that investment look like in terms of transportation needs? Look, I think we need, I do think we need more light rail around the city. I also think the technology is transforming how we commute. You know, look at the Google self-driving cars that are coming. They're on their way. Look at things like Uber. All of a sudden, our highways with these new technologies, the capacity can increase dramatically. High-speed rail is 1970s technology. Why don't we invest in 2020 technology for the future? All right. Uh, up next, Neil Kashkari is going to uh, stay on the hot seat for us for one more segment. You decide Southern California 2014. We'll be right back. Right after this.